this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really easy 3D paper realistic eraser. So this is a very easy way of making a paper realistic eraser and it's useful too. Since I've already posted a video on my channel about how to make a really easy paper 3D pencil. So if you guys uh, haven't missed that video, go don't forget to check that out. That'll be a really easy one. And for that, you can also use this as a eraser and it's also a 3D fake eraser. So in that video, I already told you guys that you can use these 3D objects to prank your friends. So many of your friends might ask you uh, to lend your pencils, erasers and uh, pens and everything. So to, to take them or prank them, you can you guys can use all these fake things uh, and it'll be a really easy and cool prank as well. And this can also be, uh, this is a really easy and cute craft and it can also be used as a wall decor. You can give it to your a cute craft to your uh, siblings or your smaller children or anyone else. So this is a very easy and useful craft as I said and uh, you guys can use it for any purpose. So without any further delay, let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this really easy cool eraser. And so I just left two sides empty and on the other two sides I just wrote uh, um, all clean so you can uh, use this to clean all the uh, thing and on the side I just uh, wrote another thing that says camel eraser because all the erasers I have are camel so I thought I like the same thing over here as well but after I wrote it it didn't look like too much realistic uh, so I thought of taking it to the side so if you guys want you don't have to write it or you can if you have like a real eraser you can take that uh, blue or any other color uh, coloring around it and you can use it and you can uh, wrap it around this as well so that's any for the delay let's get started then we'll be seeing how to make this really easy and cool eraser so before we start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you will receive a notification whenever I upload a video. So now let's get started. So first we are going to be needing only a few materials. So which are for the paper, we are going to be needing two pieces of paper. A blue strip of paper like this and a white one. So the first step is that we are going to be keeping this blue aside and we are going to be taking the white one over here. So now I am just going to be taking a scissor and I am just going to be cutting this white one like this. So we're just going to be leaving some space gently like this and we're going to be cutting it over here, the remaining piece like this. So now we're going to be having a piece like this. So now we're just going to be folding it in half like this and now we're going to be folding it in half one more time. So the next step is that we're going to be opening it over, over here and we're going to be folding it a little bit before the line over here that we folded it and one more time and one more time. So if we do this, we'll be having a of space over here. So I'll just repeat it. So just, uh, here's the line that we made and the crease formed. So I'm just going to be folding a little bit before the line. And I'm repeating the same step on all the sides. So after we complete this, we'll be having a small piece of paper left over here. So you guys can fold that over here. And you could leave it. So now we're going to be opening this piece of paper like this. And we're going to be having a, like a rectangular cuboidal structure over here. So now we're just going to be opening this piece like this. And we're going to be applying some glue over here on one side of the paper, the ending piece like this. And we're going to be sticking this piece of paper outing over here like this. So now we'll be having a small cuboid. So as you see, it's not in the perfect shape. So for that, we're just going to be folding the corners like this. We're going to be applying some force and we're going to be repeating the same step on all the four sides of the paper. So we're just going to be doing it. So now as you see, the cuboid shape is formed slightly. So we're just going to be leaving that alone and now we're going to be forming the bottom part for the eraser. So for that I'm going to be taking the remaining part of the white paper we had and I'm going to be applying some glue on this white piece of paper like this over here. So I'm just going to be uh, applying glue over here all around this piece of paper. So now I've applied glue on this paper. So now I'm just going to be sticking it on the white piece of paper we had. So we just have to do it like this. And so once we complete this I'm just going to be cutting it over here a little bit over here. And I'm going to be applying some glue on top of this piece of paper like this over here. So it's the opposite side of the paper. So if you guys want to wait until that other side is dry. But I'm just going to be sticking this all over here like this. Then at last we can dry it. So now I'm going to be cutting a small portion of paper like this. And we're going to be taking this and we're going to be sticking it at the top like this over here. So now we just have to wait until it's dry. So the shape is formed. So we just have to wait until it's dry. So I'm just going to be keeping it aside and now for this one I'm just going to be doing the light blue color piece of paper like this. So, so it's kind of bigger than the size so I'm just going to be trimming it a little bit over here. So it's according to you about which size you do it. If you don't want it in a bigger size you can use it in a small one. So now we've completed this and now the size is perfect. So I'm just going to be waiting until it's dry and before that I'm just going to be shaping it. So I'm just going to be folding it in half as usual. Then we're going to be folding it in half one more time like this. So now we're just going to be checking if it works fits. So it fits perfectly. 
So if you guys want to make it like in small, it's not compulsory. You have to like uh, roll it all around the piece of paper over here. So it's not compulsory to do that. Sometimes this piece of paper might come out. So if, uh, uh, just like that, you can stick it again to make sure it sticks perfectly. So now after uh, we're going to cutting this piece of paper and uh, take it out. It's enough. So I'm just going to cutting it gently like this over here. So now we're going to be in the same step on the opposite side of the paper as well. Like this. So now it's supposed to wait until it's dry. So if it goes in, this paper might go in. So you can just take it out and you can uh, stick it at the top like this. So now we're just going to be placing it like this and we're going to be giving it some time to dry. So for this one, I just made it in a smaller size because I don't want to complete, uh, completely cover it. So first, I'm just going to be folding on three sides. I'm going to be leaving one side empty because I felt like that would be really cute to do as well. And it's not compulsory, you guys have to do it in all the sides available. So before that, I'm just going to be taking a small uh, black permanent marker. And you can even use a black sketch pen if you like. And it's going to be writing Kremlin eraser. So you can write any eraser you want. It's not compulsory, you have to write Kremlin as I said. So I just wrote it, I'm going to put a small smiley at the bottom. So if you don't, if you want to make it more realistic, you, can, you don't have to do this step. It's not a compulsory step. So now I'm just going to be applying some glue over here on the eraser that we made. <coughs> So now I've applied a little bit of glue over here. I'm just going to be spreading the glue. So you guys can even use a chopstick or ice cream stick to spread the glue. And we're just going to be applying some force and we're going to be sticking this piece over here. Now I'm just going to be applying some glue on the opposite side of the paper over here as well. And we're going to be sticking it gently like this. So we just have to give it some time to dry and now we're going to be turning it over here and we're going to be applying some glue over here and sticking in. So one more thing is that if you want to make your eraser more realistic and if you want this part to move, like uh, keep moving, you can just, as you see over here, I just uh, stuck all the four sides of the paper together, then I inserted it into the eraser. So you guys can even also try that, try doing that, that will also use, will be a good way of doing it. So now we've completed sticking it over here. So we just completed and I didn't do for all the sides. I just made it until one half of the side because I didn't want it to be fully covered because I just want to leave a little bit of space to make it uh, more realistic. So if you guys want, you can even uh, do it completely or fill it completely. So now we've completed this step. So next step is that our release is almost ready. But one more thing is I'm just going to be using some cello tape and I'm going to be covering this whole part with the... Uh, Tape. So this is not a compulsory step, but if you are a little bit uh, more realistic, so if you see, uh, see in uh, shops while they sell erasers, they sell out, uh, they give like a plastic covering around them, so that's just uh, to cover and uh, make them not get dirty. So I'm just going to be doing that so that it looks realistic and the white paper surrounded by it won't be seen properly. So now I'm just going to be taking some cello tape and I'm going to be sticking it on this eraser like this. And now I'm just going to be turning it around and I'm going to be applying it fully like this on all the sides. So it's not compulsory, you guys have to do it on all the sides. If you don't have much cello tape and if you don't want to waste it, you can even uh, do it for a few sides or you can even skip this step. It's according to you about to do it or not. So I just stuck it over here and I'm going to be sticking it on the side of the paper as well. So as you see, after we stick it, it'll be kind of uh, more realistic and also be more cute cute over here. And you can even leave it like this. One more thing is that you don't have to do the in a big one, a big size on an eraser. So if you guys want, you can fold it in a half and you can um, this breadth of the eraser can be a little smaller if you want to do it. Because if you uh, keep it big, you uh, might not like it. So it's according to you about how you can do it. So after we complete this, a really easy paper realistic daily eraser is ready. This is a very easy way of making paper eraser and is useful too. So you can use this eraser to prank your friends and family members and it will also look in a really realistic way. You can even use it as a home decor or a really easy cool craft as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. Before you continue, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you will receive a notification whenever I upload a video. So I'd like to thank you all for supporting me and my channel and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. Thank you for watching. Bye.